Good afternoon from Old Trafford, where Manchester United have finished the Premier League season with a 2-1 win against Fulham. Come from behind victory, an entertaining game at Old Trafford, so often are on the final day when there's nothing to play for, and there was very little to play for for these two teams. United's win did secure third spot, a 23rd win of the season in the Premier League, 75 points in the end. Uh, second highest points tally in 10 years in the post-Fergie era, only the fourth time United finished in the top three. So plenty to celebrate for Eric Tenag and his players here, especially after last season and especially after the season, how the season started with those defeats at, at Brighton and Brentford. A real party mood at the end, a defiant talk on the pitch from Ten Hag as well to the fans afterwards and talking about the cup final and I think it was, I was going to say all eyes, but at least an eye and a half on that FA Cup final next weekend today. It's the big one now for United against Manchester City. Try and win a second trophy in Ten Hag's first season and... Perhaps just as importantly, try and stop City matching that 1999 treble. There is so much riding on Wembley. We probably got a few clues as to the lineup today. I don't think it was any surprise for Ran and Eriksson got a rest. Martial being on the bench might indicate he's in line to start in, in what might just be one attacking position that's up for grabs, really. I thought Fred starting and then coming off probably suggests he might well start as well. I, I wouldn't be surprised to see Fernandez start on the right in that cup final and maybe Fred's energy come into, come into midfield. But generally, just... Uh, an entertaining game and a good way to finish. 15 wins from 19 games at home this season for United. Just that one defeat to Brighton on, on the opening day. It looked for a while like this might be a second defeat. Went 1-0 down to uh, a Kenny Tetty near post header from a corner early on. And then a penalty. Fulham had a penalty right about midway through that, that first half. Harry Maguire with a poor ball uh, through midfield. Cut out. Launched a Fulham counter. Casemiro clipped Tom Kearney. A, a definite penalty. Alexander Mitrovic stepped up and, as you would expect from his Old Trafford record this season, he missed, or rather, David De Gea saved it. A, a brilliant moment for De Gea. His first penalty save at Old Trafford since 2014 when he denied Leighton Baines. In front of the Stratford end as well, um, he got a, a roaring reception from the Stratford end for that save. Got mobbed by his teammates and Eric Ten just done his press conference and called it the turning point of the game. Um, and he's right, Fulham with a better side until then, but that save gave United something propelled them forwards, gave them some belief and after that they, they were the better team and deserved the victory. Got the equaliser through Jadon Sancho, a, a touch of luck it's fair to say, Marco Silva said it was a lucky goal and it's hard to disagree. Um, Maguire he played quite well actually after that error with a, a good forward ball to Fernandez. Fernandez into Fred but, but Fred was tackled in the box and the ball just sort of ricocheted to Sancho who, who couldn't miss. Thought Sancho did better on the right again today after a good performance on the right in the second half against Chelsea, some promising signs there. Uh, then United got the goal in the second half. Fred, who, who with the ball was very, very hit and miss today, as he so often is. But his reverse pass through ball to Fernandez for the winning goal was sensational. A fantastic spot, a perfect run from Fernandez, and took a touch. Looked like he was going to go round Leno, but didn't quite get it out of his feet with that touch. But had the, had the skill and, and the wherewithal to, to, to dink the ball over uh, Burnt Leno and get the goal 2 1. And, and that is how it finished. A few chances in the break for United. Fulham gave it a good go. But, um, but that was it, 2-1, like I say, a deserved victory, 75 points, four successive wins to end the season and, and a real good feel, real feel good factor on the end. Like I say, Ten Hag was, was roared um, throughout making his, uh, his end of season speech, really. Thanks for the fans. And as soon as he mentioned the cup final, the chance of United in this place were, were truly deafening. Um, and like I say, he was very defiant, talking about how they've got a very good chance of, or what he feels, I think he's had a really good chance actually of, uh, of winning and bringing the cup back to Old Trafford, as he described it. And, there's no doubt that would cap off a brilliant season. It's, it's going to be a great season, whatever happens, but you can't get away from the fact that there is so much riding on Wembley. Like I say, just at his press conference, um, another update on De Gea. There's obviously the, the, the possibility that this has been De Gea's final game at Old Trafford. His 544th United appearance it was, but his contract is up in just over four weeks now. That's, that's the reality of the situation. Um, no, I don't think anyone really expects it's going to be his final game, but it, it, the possibility is there. Um, Ten Hag was asked about it after the match and said again that United wanted to stay, he wants to stay, and he said, we will find each other. So that felt pretty telling that he clearly believes De Gea will stay at this club and a contract extension will be signed. And he kind of said De Gea summed up United's season from, from starting, starting slowly, good not being good enough, to finishing pretty well and that decisive penalty save and the turning point in the game. Um, I asked the Ten Hag as well about how he... Probably got 17 more points at least to make up on, on next season. That's the improvement in his first season. You probably need another 17 points from 75 to have a chance of challenging for the title these days. That would take you to 92, so it's a lot to find. He talked about improvement in certain players, but 
as I suspected he might, he mentioned transfers as well and, and pushed him on investment. And a very telling quote that I think you're going to see in a lot of Monday papers and get a lot of traction this week about how um, basically we, we got away with it in January. Our rivals spent and we didn't, he, he said. And of course, United only signed Jack Butland, Marcel Sabitzer and Vuk Vegost on loan in January. Um, and and our, basically said our rivals spent, we didn't. And I'm proud of my team that we still finished third. It, it felt very much like him claiming credit for it, his team claiming credit for it. You look at Liverpool signing Kylie Gakbo, Newcastle Anthony Gordon, uh, Arsenal signed Kivior, Jorginho, Trossard, Chelsea, we know how many millions they spent unsuccessfully in January. It felt like a really telling quote and we know Ten Hag is a demanding manager when it comes to transfers and I think he's going to be demanding this summer whoever owns the club. So a very interesting way for, for Ten Hag to finish the season in his final press conference at at Old Trafford and I think transfers are going to be a big part of the summer story uh, but for the next week or so it is going to be all about Wembley on June the 3rd and a massive, massive Manchester Derby.